Welcome to Trading Lounge on the US stocks. Today we're going to cover Tesla, but before we do, I just want to let folks know that, um, yes, I haven't been doing stocks um, uh, in uh, for a while, and I'd like to get back into them. Um, it's just a bit of a time issue, really. So what I'm going to try and do to start with is that the major big sort of half a dozen stocks, Tesla, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, and so on, I'll try and cover those um in the indices report a little bit more, okay? Um, and the 130 stocks that were the innovative disruptive stocks, I will try to find a way to do those on a Tuesday and Thursday. Now, I don't know how I'm going to approach that to fit them all in. Perhaps I'll just um, flick through my watch list and find stocks that have trading opportunities either long or short. Okay, so I'm going to fumble through and find uh, a way that I can fit things into my schedule. But uh, Tuesday video and a Thursday video to look for innovative, disruptive stocks out of my 130 watch list. And I'll keep an eye on Tesla, Facebook and Amazon and Apple um, through during the week with, um, through, with with the indices report. I can kind of squeeze that in there a little bit. But today I just really want to do Tesla. Um, so as you can see here, I mean, obviously Tesla had that uh, stock split and brought it back down to $500 to $300 in regards to uh, which I have, have wave one and wave two here. So we have wave one and two here and then wave one and two here. So we're going up for uh, wave three there that will take us up into uh, $1,000. But um, if you know the trading levels, we'll spend a little bit of time at the 800. Well, we may not, but we'll, uh, I'll just show you what we'll go to the tick chart in a moment and have a look at this. The other way that we could count this in a very conservative manner would simply be one and two here and three here and four here and going up to wave five here. That's possible as well. Um, so just a conservative uh, view on that. But um, all things being equal, we'll go for the longer haul at this stage. And I'm going to go to the tick chart now so we can cruise in 100 ticks. Because it's a little bit, I mean, the tick chart just shows a bit better detail than you, than you will on a 15 minute chart or an hourly chart and so on. I'll need to bring more data into this space. I'll just bring a little bit more in here. So that's the whole trend there in in uh in, in 100 ticks looks like we have had a long trade back here that was quite a while ago um so things have moved on so just from this large wave two here just bringing this into perspective from wave two intermediate wave two will be going up to intermediate wave three up here okay and um with that in mind that could probably even go higher we'll get to that and wave four and so on. So I'm viewing this as wave between wave two here and wave three here. We'll be looking for five waves. So these orange ones here are minor degree of structure. So wave one and two here, and then going up here for wave three and going back in here for wave four. So between wave two and wave three here, of course, we're also looking for five waves. So these blue ones here, uh, so a minute here, so wave one and two here. And then I'm also treating this conservatively as well as one and two and three and four and five here. It is possible to look, uh, and I've got wave three, blue wave three here from wave wave two to wave three to wave four. It's possible to have also this as wave one as well, but I don't need to go there just yet with that. Uh, so from two here, we've got one and two and three and four here. And I'm just opening this up here slowly. So from blue wave four to blue wave five up here of three, we've got one and two here and three and four and five finishing up here. Now I do need to do a bit more work in here. I just haven't quite nailed it down properly. So... Um, you know, I mean, when I put this one here, I know that I've got five waves in here. I've, you know, gone in there and I can see them quite clearly. But I'll just need to recheck that. But 
for the time being, we're definitely in some sort of wave four here. So let's just sort of focus on that for a moment. Now, this move down through here, we could look at it as five waves of one and two and three and four and five here, but we do have overlapping wave structures here. So that kind of cancels that out a little bit and that makes it corrective. So we could put wave four there with an impulse wave to the upside here and then an A wave, a B wave in three waves here. You can see those three waves here and then coming down for a C wave here. The C wave would be five waves, so one and two and three and four and five. So we could actually have a low in place right here, right now for that. It's not that we have to be um, perfect with that, but we'll just keep an eye on it. And what I mean by that is that we want to gather some evidence. So if I can just draw this out here. So the evidence would be at least seeing the first little impulse wave to the upside and then seeing a retracement of that coming into play. And then we can look to go long. Well, depends how good it pans out, but um, we could go long at that point. So it's possible, I'm just saying, it's possible to look at this as wave four and this is wave one with an A. and a B and a C wave here for for that there. Now, do I have an ABC here for this? Let me just check. Yes, I do. Way over yonder. So I'm just going to pull these over here for a moment. Pull that back. thing with wave fours is they can get a little bit tricky and so on so we just need to be I think I might just lift that up one level as well here see that clearly so um, I've also got wave four over here just in case this gets a little bit more complicated but as it stands today we could go long above this high here or we need to see an impulse wave in this structure here. Now, of course, this could get further out of control and come down here further. So that's why we've got our trigger like way up here somewhere. But let's just see if we do get these five waves off the off the low here or we're going to go lower. We'll see. And um, yeah, but anyway, we're tuning in. Um, the good news about this is that this is corrective. Right. So at some point we're going to see this market move up higher will it come down and test the 800 it may even you know it may even uh this whole structure here if it's a little bit hard to see that as five waves there so uh, but we may see it as one and two here and down for three here and four here and five here coming down below the level which would also be quite nice by the way because i really like it when a market comes back below the level and then makes an effort to get support on there again it, it normally gives us a really good setup at that point and we can also have a look at the volume at that point too to see if it's really pegging it in at that point so anyway getting ready for a long trade and a move from essentially 800 to 900 but it won't stop at the 900 it will take us up to 1000 so uh, a nice move there for that alrighty um, that's all I wanted to share today just to have a look at Tesla but also once again just to mention that I will try to have a look at the disruptive innovative stock especially the Geno section I really want to sort of get into that I'm going to put a few pennies on that myself and I'll try and do that on the Tuesday and Thursday and I'll make a bit of an effort to uh, do those the big tech stocks um, in with the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 and try and tie them in there a little bit better. Alrighty, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.